Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix an error message of the procedure entry point could not be located and this error can come on your Windows 10, 11 or 7. Why this message comes up? Because uh, when software is unable to locate the DLL library it requires to run or probably if the library isn't located in the path provided directory. So whenever you try to install any application or software, you may get this message. So I'm going to share three to four solution that you need to apply one by one. And after that, I'm pretty sure that you will go here with a solution after watching the entire video. If this worked for you, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The first thing that you have to do, you have to run a system scan so that if there is any uh, corrupted file due to which the installation is creating a problem that will be resolved so click on the search icon and type cmd and then choose run as administrator the black window will now be coming up here you have to type sfc space forward slash then scan now now hit enter now it will take some time because it will be running the entire system scan so instead of waiting, you can just minimize it. And after that, we can proceed with the next solution. And we can come back to this later on. So just minimize it. And now you have to download the Visual C++ uh, packages for Visual Studio. And that you have to come to this website. The link will be in the description. You can simply copy the link from the video description and paste here. Now once you come here, you will come to this page, simply click on download, you can choose the language from here and then click on download. Now it will ask you the system in uh, version, so what you can do, either you can go with x64, x86, depending that what kind of PC you have. So how you can check this, simply in the search box type MS info and then choose system information and here in the system type you will get your uh, architecture that is in my case it's x64 so i will close it and choose x64 so in your case if it's x86 then you can go with this option once done click on next and then scroll down and you will see that the download has automatically started and now you have to click on it if you already have this on your pc then you will be getting this option it asks you to repair or uninstall I already have on my PC so I can go with repair but if you do not have it will ask you to install so kindly follow the step and install it. So I can go with repair you also have to do the same in case if it's already installed and it will again take some time so you can just minimize it and now the next thing that you have to do is you need to re-register your DLL file. So how you have to do again just click on the search icon type CMD and then choose run as administrator a black window will now be again coming up and the command i will be sharing again in the description you need to copy and paste here and then hit on enter if you get this message then you can simply close it or else let the command to run properly and wait and once done you again come back to this page where the sfc scan was running now in my case you can see it says Verification 100% complete, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violation. So it means there was not any problem. But if there is any, it will let you know and it will also fix it. So once you are all done with this, simply restart your PC and check back if the installation is working now, fine or not. And if not, then you have to uninstall the application and reinstall it again. And if this worked for you, then make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.